ladies and gentlemen, it is Grand Theft Bomb here and we will be talking about Vault 76 and the lore behind it and about the upcoming title Fallout 76. Not all vaults were designed with experimental purposes. Vault 76 is one of those 17 known control vaults, meaning that it was used as a baseline to compare to experimental vaults. Vault 76 housed 500 occupants and was programmed to open to the wasteland outside 20 years after a nuclear war. According to the vault Tech terminal in the Citadel, Vault 76 is located somewhere near Washington DC, likely in the outskirts or outer lying areas as it does not show up on the Capital Wasteland map. Construction of Vault 76 began in 2065 and ended in 2069 under the supervision of vault Tech official Giles Wollstonecroft. Vault 76 then debuted seven years later in 2076 in honour of the United States when discussing vault Tech's plans to expand. The vault is scheduled to reopen in 2097, 20 years after the events of the Great War. So this is what we need to expect when playing Fallout 76. And on to my speculation. I speculate that Fallout 76 will be a fully fledged single player experience. There will be multiplayer parts to this game, there will be building elements, there will be everything that we've seen up to this point from every other Fallout game. For an example, Fallout Shelter highly successful mobile game. Its main and core element, building. Fallout 4, another highly successful game. It had all the elements of Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, along with mixed with Fallout Shelter, giving us a chance to see exactly what it's like to build something and control a vault for ourselves. Could that perhaps be setting up for Fallout 76 maybe, due to the way that it was portrayed? Perhaps we will be seeing the atrium decorated for Reclamation Day and we could be the ones cleaning that mess up and rebuilding the vault for ourselves, inviting settlers in in order to rebuild our own vault. Basically a 3D version of the mobile game. But what, why would that make sense? Because that's not what's going to happen. I think there is going to be a multiplayer element to this. There will not be a battle royale mode. There will not be a player versus player mode. I don't think they will introduce anything like that as they've already done all those things. Slapping the name Fallout on any game will in fact sell money. It's, well, sell money is basically a cash grab. It prints money. The name Fallout prints money. Same with the Elder Scrolls 6. A lot of people are anticipating an Elder Scrolls 6 announcement that will not happen. Upon the success of Elder Scrolls Online and upon the success as well as Skyrim, which has been sold for over nearly 10 years now. Nearly 10 years, not quite, but nearly enough. It's been sold on every platform imaginable due to the pr simply printing money in order to get money as much money as they possibly can to fund their next game. Bethesda have been hiring more and more companies and making more and more offices around the world in order to expand and make games faster because they know that fans are on high demand for each of their IPs as well as them announcing two new IPs. But what does this mean for the two franchises that are their biggest that people love? That's not me counting in Doom or anything like that. So Fallout and the Elder Scrolls series, like what are their futures? They are not going to go anywhere, they will continue to expand on these because they have a lot of lore, a lot of background and they have worked hard on each of these games in order to make them big. Bearing in mind Fallout 3 was their first Fallout game that they had made, but it was by far not a bad game, it was great, that's by far my favourite game in fact. So with that, what can we come to expect from the next Fallout game, this game coming? I expect, I have high expectations and high anticipation for this game, it will be great, there will be a story but I'm hoping that the story does not follow the lines of someone trying to find someone, as each Fallout game by Bethesda has been about that. So do you really feel that in this next Fallout game that you have to be the big sister trying to find your little brother? as we've already been the son looking for our dad and then been our dad looking for our son along with a voice protagonist which is the one thing we don't want so don't do that but perhaps that might be why Vault 76 is coming out so quickly between the gaps of Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 there was nearly 10 years so why can we expect no voice protagonist from this game well it took that long to make a voice protagonist for Fallout that if they cut that part out 
they're cutting their production process almost in half. Along with spending more time on detail and making the game more interesting and intricate along with the lore, can they make a better game than their previous ones? But with that, and on that note, I'm going to conclude this video here. Enjoy the rest of your night. See you later.